hopes and dreams of others, especially the nice people of the world who make positive differences in their communities. 10 Country reporter Joe Corson found an unselfish man who couldn't get away from his calling, even though he tried. Some people add beauty to the world with their broken dreams. I had in mind being a concert pianist. I had it planned. I was going to go to Cincinnati Conservatory, but I never got there. He believed in his dream so much that he hammered out a fictitious concert tour through the Midwest. It never happened. His father became gravely ill and he had to return to the family farm to keep it going. The first two years were really pretty good, but after that, the financial bottom fell out. 53 bent me and 54 broke me. Then he became a traveling grocery salesman. For two years. Ralph McGill would find that his first love could provide a steady income by teaching hundreds of people to play. And he did it in an unusual way for the time. He let me play whatever I wanted. That was 50 years ago, and the reason, she says, is why she still enjoys playing. Ralph McGill plays anytime someone asks him to, and the local senior citizen center started asking him 22 years ago. His friends try to find songs he doesn't know. Nobody stumped him yet. And no one can take his seat permanently at the organ of the First Baptist Church either. I've never heard anybody play better. I felt a call to be a church organist. Playing each Sunday morning and Sunday night. A commitment kept for the past 57 years. Refusing to take vacations for many years. Saying he had no place to go. Yes. He gets lonesome occasionally and when he does, he goes to his first love for comfort. A love he readily shares with others with no strings attached. Joe Corson, WALB News 10, Dawson. Ralph McGill was a jailhouse organist at one time. He traveled with an army chaplain who visited soldiers and the stockade. It's time for us to check in again with Rufy. Thanks, Carla. When we come back, there's a lot of loving going on in Tifton.